Hello, art friends. We're talking about Elmer's glue, liquid glue. There's a couple of things to know about the glue bottle. Number one, it has a head, neck, and a belly on the glue bottle, okay? This is your head, and when I twist it, watch how there's a neck underneath here. So that little space right in here is the neck. So right now it's tall, it says neck. Everybody, when I open this, you go neck. And when you close it, you pretend like he has no neck and you have to go, no neck. Ready? Neck. No neck. Neck. So that's kind of a funny way. Oh, my hat is falling. Okay, get up there, you. So I want to make sure there is no neck first. So no neck, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is my glue bottle might be almost out or it might be brand new, but when you're ready to use your glue bottle, you wanna turn it upside down. We've already made sure there's no neck. No neck. And then you're gonna tap. We're gonna do the tap a -roo. Are you ready for the song? So you have to stand up. You have to get one hand up like this. This is called jazz hand. Notice no glue is coming out because the neck is no neck. Hand up here and you go tap, tap, tap a -roo. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. A tap, 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 I got glue for you. So you gotta have your jazz hand going, you gotta stand up and you gotta tap lightly. Don't jam it down, I just gotta go lightly. And now all of the glue is down towards this bottom. And then if I kind of open it, now I can draw with my glue on my paper, whatever I need to do. And when you draw with your glue, you're gonna push on the, the belly of your glue bottle. This is the guy's belly, the tummy right here. That's the tummy of the glue bottle. Now here's a trick that most adults don't know. If you lay your glue bottle on the table on the side like this, after you tap root your glue and there's neck, you can lay it on its side. Look, no glue is coming out. No glue. An adult might come by and say, oh, the glue is going to come out of the bottle. Stand it up. But you're going to say, okay, I can do that. And then you stand it up. But in art, you can lay it sideways, knowing that all the glue is towards the end and you don't have to tap a root again. Okay? That's the glue. Now, when I'm done using my glue, I'm all done. I can't just throw this in my art bin. I have to. No neck. Or else that glue comes out and gets all over all your stuff. Something else you can do is see at the end where it's all gross and gobbery? Take a tissue or a Kleenex. Just wipe that off real quick and then put that in your art bin because you don't want that to be on your stuff. And also, when you go to use it again, it's going to have like a crusty little like globber and it won't work very good. Okay? So that's all you need to know about glue. Except this is white glue. And then when it dries, it's clear. This is pink glue. When it dries, it's pink. Purple glue. When it dries, it is purple. And here's an example of black glue and pink glue. That's all that's on here is black glue and pink glue. How you ask? Let me show you. Take a regular ordinary glue bottle. You can see that it's only up to about here. It's kind of running out, kind of getting gross. I don't want to throw it out. I want to make it something cool. So I'm going to take a dry dude marker from the dry dude bin. See that thing right here? If you have a dry marker, I'm trying to color with this one. It's not working at all, like zero. I don't want to use it, but I don't really want to throw it out. So I'm going to put the cap back on it and I'm going to save it in that bin until Miss Hookem or a fifth grader is ready to make colorful glue. So here's how you make colorful glue for my fifth graders and for other kiddos. You're going to take your glue bottle. No neck. Who left that open? I'm going to open this part and then with a teacher's help, you're going to take your regular old ordinary dry dude marker. This is a little shorty short one. And when you take the cap off, an adult, it'll look like this. It'll have this in the top of it. An adult or a fifth grader can take a pair of pliers and very carefully you pinch and break that part off. And look what's inside of a marker. So when I pull this out, see this is inside of a marker. It's kind of covered in plastic and inside it's kind of like hairy. Can I can that zoom in? It won't. Anyways, so it's kind of like fluffy inside of here, covered in plastic. If I touch that a whole bunch, my fingers are going to get gross. Here's what I'm going to do. Watch this. Da -da 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 -bum -bum -ba -da -bum. That's it. That's all we got to do. That's it. Put the cap back on. And then you got to shake. Shake, shake. Shake it up. 
shake, shake, shake it up. And then by tomorrow, it's gonna turn out like pink inside of here. We've experimented with trying to do um, a couple other colors like putting purple in with the pink to see what happens or a blue or a green or a whatever and mixing colors to see what kind of colors we can get. So what I'm hoping to do is have my fifth graders make a whole classroom set of colorful glue and then maybe putting like a piece of construction paper on there that says this is hot pink. So then we can use the hot pink glue. It's kind of fun to use. Okay, one last time. No neck. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. a Tap, 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 I got glue for you. Now it's ready for glue. Okay? All right. Happy gluing.